question as serious as cancer. Who can keep the average? You hear that, boys? Listen to that crowd cheer for us. Let's get this win for our fans tonight. Let's pump these people up. We're in the place they call the Rose Garden in downtown Portland, Oregon, the home of the Trailblazers, where we will be broadcasting today's action live. I'm Kevin Harlan. We've got an action-packed Saturday night with NBA action for you. Thanks for joining us. Here with me tonight, Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke. Tip off moments away, and State Farm presents the starting lineups. And guys, check out Damian Lillard. What can we expect here? You know, he might not have been the most recognized face in college basketball, but don't be fooled. Damian Lillard knows how to slither his way into the lane and get points. He led the nation in scoring for a reason. This guy can really play. And even though, Steve, he's on the smaller end of the scale in terms of his size, he absorbs contact pretty well and has nice change of pace. He's going to surprise some people with how productive he is. Back in Portland, the Trailblazers kick off the beginning of the homestand. This is a hot team. They currently hold the best record in the entire NBA. You know, for the Trailblazers, they've been the story of the regular season in my mind, smashing expectations and really taking the league by storm. Yeah, they've been impressive, no doubt about it. Among the league's best as we approach the postseason. Doris Burke has an update for us. Doris? Hey, Kevin, I briefly spoke with Oklahoma City's head coach. He talked about the respect he has for the game of LaMarcus Aldridge and how tough it will be for them to slow him down saying Aldridge is tough because he can score facing up or with his back to the basket. And with his length, it's tough to bother his shot. We'll look to deny him the ball when we can and just try to make it as hard as possible every touch. Kevin will see how successful they are. And thank you for that, Doris. And it's the Trailblazers with the ball. James Harden missing on the three. That's good. He's got a little room at the rim and laid it in. Great play. Just over a minute and a half played here in this one. Westbrook kicks to Harden. Back to Westbrook. An easy two points on the way. He's as close to impossible to defend as anybody, I think. I mean, he can just torch the defense in so many ways. Lillard, the pass to Ben. Dishes it to Lillard. Here's the beast. He's against Perkins. Shot clock at six. Serge Ibaka with the rebound. And a missed opportunity right there. Definitely. I think he should have converted that one. Harden outside. Westbrook. From downtown. Lillard with the rebound. Well, it was the Oklahoma City Thunder in their last game, a loss to the Philadelphia 76ers. And that's the kind of loss that sticks with you for a while, guys, because they were probably the better team that night. They just couldn't put the game away. You know, Steve, you'd almost rather get beaten by double digits than know you should have won it, but didn't. Oklahoma City trailer. Their last encounter was in Oklahoma City. Pretty lazy effort defensively that night from them, guys. You know, I know that... It sounds harsh, but hey, I speak the truth. <laughs> yes, you do. Where were the adjustments is my question. I mean, the coaching staff didn't seem to realize, as everyone else watching did, that change... Oh, One of the oldest plays in basketball made that dunk possible. That's right. A terrific screen right there. Steve allowed him to lose his man and rock it to the rim. Now, don't you love to see players working together and... That, that fundamental play. Fun to watch. That was a nice replay. Brought to you by Sprite. Westbrook with it. Lillard picks him up. That's blocked. And it's out of bounds to the Thunder as Oklahoma City retains possession. Well, with this break in the action, let's see which players have had the hot hand lead. Here are the top scorers in the past month. And you look at the Beast leading the league in points per game. Such a great play. And, of course, Kevin Durant. Two slots lower. Another guy who can get a lot of points. Top five. Well, both of these guys have been great of late. The question is, who will be able to continue? The
Five seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Portland grabs the miss. They come into this having outplayed Phoenix the last game. They took advantage of an opposing defense that looked completely out of sorts in that game, guys. Yeah, they didn't come up against much resistance at all. I mean, they had success with pretty much whatever they tried. Here's Arenas. Gets it to go. Well, for him, that finger roll is almost second nature. That's a tough shot for most players. Westbrook. The shot will not go. And we reach the end of the first quarter. Trailblazers lead by four. Next Tuesday night, Kevin Durant of the Oklahoma City Thunder take on Ty Lawson and the Denver Nuggets. Live from Pepsi Center, be there. And now the second quarter just getting set to start. And looking at what we've seen so far from the Trailblazers guys, uh, what do you think? Yeah, the defense has been terrific. They came out right from the beginning, alert and focused, and they've been really good at that end of the floor. And I think Coach has to be pleased with the effort, Steve. And a chance here presented by Gatorade to see who's on the floor. All fueled up and ready to go for the start of the second quarter. On the floor for Portland. The Beast, he's in at center. Gilbert Arenas is out there with Damian Lillard. Then there's LaMarcus Aldridge, and it's Westbrook in at the three spot. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to Doris Burke for an update. Hi, Doris. Thanks, Kevin. The Beast in their last matchup against the Suns was superb. He ended with 20 points and did a good portion of his work from the free throw line as he drew a good number of fouls. This game is just the latest performance in what has been a hot streak for him. Will he bring the fire tonight, guys? Okay, Doris, thanks. Great report on what was Clark an outstanding performance. Kevin, he was simply on fire. These are the kinds of games that define truly great NBA careers. Yeah, you could see from the beginning, he just uh, seemed to, to have it. You know, he was on his game, and he remained aggressive throughout in what was really a great win. Just over one minute has passed here in the second quarter. Tries from 10. Second chance shot, and so he ends a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. Yeah, and he's such a clutch player, too. Relishes these big moments with the clock winding down, games up for grabs. That's when he tends to want the ball and create something, and more often than not, deliver. And his attitude, Steve, just his general poise and presence is something else you notice about him. He's really a calming influence over that team. A lot of big men struggle at the line, but that's a strength for him. Harden dishes to Cole. Pass to Durant. Hit his foot, and it's being called a kickball. Both teams will make substitutions. Here's Westbrook. Coming in off a 10-point game his last outing. With the fadeaway, Durant, that's good. Durant's got his second bucket. He is so good at working himself into the open spots on the floor inside that three-point line. Here's the beast. Ibaka on him. There's the double team with Russell. Here's Arenas, rejected by Ibaka. Harden with it. Right now averaging seven points a game. Svensson guarded by Harden. Open look. That's good. He's got six. Looks like he's finding his touch now because the shots are starting to fall. Outside Westbrook. He's covered by Arenas. It's Westbrook with the drive. And so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. Well, you allow them to get right to the rim like that. That's your only option. Yeah, I think you got... Outside Westbrook. He passes it to a box. No good there, and that would have come for The clock runs out, and we're heading to halftime. Now, presented by Sprint. 
Thanks for being with us here on 2K Sports. Every day, the playoff picture is becoming more clear. Out at the Rose Garden, it's the Trailblazers in front against Oklahoma City. They've been relentless attacking the rim, dominating in points in the paint, and the bodies down low have been banging away. For the Thunder, though, in this one, plenty of work still needs to be done. Their three-point shooting has been nowhere to be found. It's really hurt them offensively. That's why they're behind. James Harden hasn't been able to get it going. His shot isn't falling. He's been ice cold. And that'll wrap things up for me here in the studio. Second half is just around the corner. Thanks so much for stopping by. Well, it's been a one-sided affair so far through the first two quarters, but there's plenty of time to mount a comeback. You have to like what we've seen so far from Damian Lillard. Yeah, he's done a great job of finding the soft spots in that defense. A very efficient game for him so far. Yeah, and I like what he's done, Steve. I mean, he's made a couple of jumpers here or there, but what he's really done impressively is allow the game to come to him. So for Oklahoma City right now, the front line, Kevin Durant, Serge Ibaka, and Kendrick Perkins. In the backcourt, Russell Westbrook and James Harden. Smart, and he's just using his size advantage to get a shot off. And a sweet stroke, too, you might add. Oh, Jim sets up the pick now for Luke. Here's Stenson. No good. Good D by Harden. Well, those chances are almost always two points for him. I... Well, after he threw that one down, he felt free to hang around for a little while. A little extra emphasis at the end. Now, you got to be careful, too, on that. It uh, used to be an automatic technical foul. They'll still call it at times, but they were a little more selective with the call. And that last replay, courtesy of Sprite. Second half rolling along now. About a minute played here. Here's the beast covered by Perkins. Drops it in from 14 feet away. The Beast's got eight points. He got that one, but he hasn't been producing the way we're accustomed to. He needs to look for a shot a bit more. Ibaka sets the pit for Harden. In low to Ibaka. Kicks it out to Harden. Shoots from 12. And there's another one for the Thunder. You know what I love about Durant, uh, Kevin, is the fact that he can be cruising along and then all of a sudden he'll just kick it into high gear. You know, he gets his points quietly at times because it comes so effortlessly. Uh, but when the game's on the line, he can get hot and just bury it. Steve, if you were just going to dream up a score, a machine-like video game-like score, KD, Kevin Durant, is what you would come up with. Long, lean, can shoot at deep ball skills, and the attitude and aggressiveness of a late game closure. And that rebound pushes their margin to plus five on the board. Solid job on the glass. Well, it's just part of what they've done here to build this big lead. It shouldn't be overlooked. I mean, rebounding is a huge part of this game. Westbrook gets a screen from Perkins. And finished off by Westbrook. Tearing that roof down with that one. Yeah, and really a dunk contest dunk that time. Wow. Mm. Yeah, unreal. What a dunk. The Thunder have had two chances at the line already, making them both. Well, you look at the number 79% as a team on the season. That's uh, that's very impressive. Really, guys, it's just come together for them at the charity strike this season. I mean, the confidence is there, and so, too, are the results. Here's Arenas from outside off the mark. Thunder trailing by nine. Here's Cole. That's hauled in by the Trailblazers. The Beast's got his fifth rebound in this one. And out of bounds as the Thunder gain possession. In the second half of the season, this group of teams has really heated up from beyond the arc. Number one, the Trailblazers. Second, the Thunder. It's been an impressive display of shooting from both clubs since midseason. I mean, these are teams that are absolutely on fire from the three-point line. Westbrook kicks to Hartness, and there's the feed to Cole. The dish to Jones. He's against Hickson. Jones, no luck. Not too much congestion in the lane. I think he could have gotten a better shot that time, no question. Inside, here's the beast, and that one's good. 
The Beasts got 10 points in the game. Just adds to what has already been a great day for him. So both teams making some changes here. One thirty-five left in the third quarter of the game. Here's Durant. The baseline jumper goes down. Ten points for him. He's been hot for most of this game, and if he keeps it up, his team could turn things around. Here's the beast. The shot from the low post is good. He is always so in control, guys. Even when he's going hard to the hoop, very skilled finisher. And they're trailing by eleven. Here's Cole. Back to Durant. Drop steps. A stupendous finish in traffic. Durant's got six points in the quarter. They continue to barrel their way inside. And when's the defense going to adjust? Well, I'm asking the same question myself, partner. I mean, that's eight points out of the last ten coming inside. Here's the beast. Defended by Durant. And it's out of bounds. The Trailblazers able to retain possession here. So it's both teams making substitutions here. 46 seconds left to play here in the third. Just five to shoot. The Trailblazers need to get off a shot. The Beast nails it from the high post. The Beast's got 14. They're just getting better offensively as the game goes on, making good choices and getting high percentage shots. And they're playing hard and playing smart too, Steve. Uh, they've just been very, very good. Harden outside. On the arc. And it's hauled in by the Trailblazers. Aldridge has got his third rebound tonight. Looking ahead, they've got the Jazz coming into town for the next game. That'll be the latter half of this two-game homestand. And as we end the third quarter, a double-digit deficit will make it tough to come back. Coming up next Monday night, Kevin Durant and the Oklahoma City Thunder take on the Phoenix Suns. Live from Phoenix, be there. Hello and thanks for joining us, folks. The fourth quarter of play should begin momentarily. Now, let's check in with Doris Burke for the Sprite Uncontainable Game. Doris? Thank you, Kev. And as you might have guessed, the uncontainable game today, the Portland Trailblazers. No big errors on their part, and they've been the team that wants it more so far. It's that extra bounce in their step that has been the difference maker for them. Great. Thanks for the report, Doris. The Beast in its center. Luke Davitt is out there with Hickson. Then it's Damian Lillard. That's the group in the game for the Trailblazers. You know, they're just getting hammered inside and really need to find a way to be tougher down there. they got to be physical. they got to man up in there. I agree. I mean, you look at the points they're giving up. Most of them seem to be coming inside the paint. And Cole kicks to Westbrook. Back and down. Blocked. And it's out of bounds. The Thunder able to retain possession. Marcus Aldridge just checked in for J.J. Hickson. And a switcher also for Oklahoma City. Harden's checked in. Cole, the pass to Durant. Six to shoot. It's blocked. Well, they've built a big lead here so far, and a lot of it has to do with how well they've been rebounding. Yeah, every time they make a stop, they're securing the rebound, and that's really allowed them to get out to this lead. And guys, 10 of their last 12 points coming in the paint. Yeah, I like their aggressiveness on offense, but the question is, where's the defense? They've got to put up some resistance here. And Cole kicks to Harden. Backs him down. Shoots a fader. That is good. Well, that makes five of their last six makes coming from inside. Yeah, really focused on getting the ball into the paint because they're taking advantage of very porous defense down there. Here's the beast. And again, it's Portland converted. Well, you love the way he searched for good shots all game long. And they're trailing by 15. Mark some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, they need a basket just to regain some momentum here, Kevin. A moment to check in with Doris Burke. Doris? During that break, the coach of the Thunder had some words for his team. 
He doesn't think they've been giving it their all, saying they've been quicker to rebounds to every loose ball. We gotta wake up. The game's slipping away, and we're letting it happen. We have got to take control of this thing. We'll see if he lit a fire under him, guys. Trailblazers leading by 13. Second minute off the clock now in the fourth. Stolen by Harden. And here comes Harden, leading the fast break. Westbrook, no good. Some rugged defense there against one of the stronger finishers in the game. And that one's good by Aldridge. That was a nice finish to an excellent possession. Under trailing by 15. We're in the fourth quarter here, just under two and a half minutes gone. And here's Harden for three. It's right in by LaMarcus Aldridge. Aldridge has got five rebounds tonight. Boy, they've been all over the last big advantage in the rebound totals. Yeah, that's really carried them in this one, guys. I mean, those one and dones have really set a nice tone and let them establish this lead. Spencer and the Trailblazers getting another bucket right there. Thunder have gone just 33% for the field in the fourth quarter so far. They are two of six. Westbrook gets to Durant. Perkins with the screen for Durant. The Thunder with another miss. Really good offensive execution. Nice pick. Just couldn't get the shot to go. Boy, you love to see that as a basketball purist. Guy setting a good screen and then getting the shot opportunity. And the basket by Lillard. They're really making a point of taking it inside and scoring from close range. Well, this fella can rise up there with the best of them. Just a crazy finish, guys. Right, he's one of the few players with the athleticism to pull that off. Special thanks to Sprite for that sweet replay. And out of bounds is the Thunder game possession. Way too loose on that inbounds pass. Look at the clock, a little under three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth. Ibaka wishes to Perkins. He kicks it to Durant. There's the triple. It's hauled in by LaMarcus Aldridge. Aldridge has got six rebounds in the game. Down low. And the basket by Lillard. Lillard's got four points this quarter. Boy, they keep going inside offensively, and guys, they've been very aggressive here. Yeah, huge advantage in points in the paint, and I think the defense has to make an adjustment to protect the middle. Westbrook with it. Lillard picks him up. Here's Perkins. No good. Now the Trailblazers take it the other way. And here are the Trailblazers. They're on a 14-6 run. Here's the Beast. He's against Perkins. Here's the Beast. And it's blocked by Ibaka. Out of bounds. Trailblazers ball as Portland keeps possession. Both teams deciding to change it up. Rocket six. Outside Arenas. Three-pointer. Again, the miss by the Trailblazers. And for the Thunder, they're shooting in this fourth quarter. Pretty dire at 27%. Here's Grady. And again, Oklahoma City, no good. Trailblazers have gone 7 of 9 from the field down the stretch here in the fourth quarter. Terrific shooting. Three seconds separate the shot clock and game. Here's the Beast. Working down low. Outside for Arenas. Second shot opportunity. It's all in by Hodges. Well, you know what? You really expect him to knock that jumper down when he gets a good look like that. And so Portland takes this one up by a big margin. You know, Clark, every team has a bad night. These guys might want to watch the tape of this game the next time they have a bad night to remind themselves of... Just point out the bounce. Uh-huh. Show me the bounce. Yeah. Point out 
out the bounce. Yes, just point out the bounce. Yeah, listen, rumor has it the blueprint classic couldn't even be stopped by. You had 20 points for the game. You have to feel like you played a major role in this win with all of your offensive contributions. Any thoughts on your performance? Yeah, I was just doing me. I score points, I win games. It's as simple as that. I could tell early on that I wasn't going to need to take complete control, so I just let the offense come to me naturally and make sure we were able to get the win. It don't always work out quite as well, you know, but when it does, this team's hard to beat, baby. It's just a public service announcement sponsored by Just Blaze and the good folks at Rockefeller Records. Fellow Americans, it is with the utmost pride and sincerity that I present this recording as a